right, today we're gonna do something a little different. Rather than me show you just one house, I'm gonna show you three brand new construction homes being built in this neighborhood by David Weekly Homes. Now, where are we? We're in Ellis, which is a brand new neighborhood built, as I mentioned, by David Weekly. We're in Marietta, Georgia, in West Cobb. As a matter of fact, we're a couple miles west of the Marietta Square, and we're right off of Dallas Highway, not too far away from where Barrett Parkway is in that business district. So you've got local shopping, dining, restaurants, all of that is really close by. Great schools, good commute into the Marietta Square, interstate's not too far with I-75, great overall area. So in this neighborhood, David Weekly's building just over 200 homes. They're a quarter of the way done and that means that there are still a lot of opportunities. Now, homes in the neighborhood are currently selling in the nines and low millions, and they have some really, some really great incentives going on right now. So you've got to contact me if you want information on what those incentives are. So you can feel free to call, text, or email. I'm gonna put all my contact information in the description below. And by the way, if you're not familiar with who I am, first of all, welcome to the channel. My name is Terrence Richardson. I'm your Atlanta Realtor with EXP Realty, and I wanna be your real estate resource of choice when you think real estate in Metro Atlanta. So if there's ever anything I can do to help you buy or sell in the Metro area, feel free to reach out. All my contact information is in the description below. All right, property tours coming up right now. All right, we're going to get started with the model home here in Ellis. It's a cobstone floor plan. Let's go take a look. So this is a five bedroom, four and a half bath plan with some really fantastic features. I'm going to step inside here and See, one of the spec homes that we're gonna take a look at is a cobstone as well, but a different elevation. So they have this cool little office space right off of the entrance. And of course, as a model, some of the things that we're gonna be seeing will be upgrades and other things, standard features. The builder has a lot of really great incentives going on right now. So contact me for more information about pricing and some of the incentives that they have going on. When I walked in, I thought that that was a real dog. That's how real that looks, but it's not. Here's the bedroom on the main level. It's got its own private ensuite. Got a mix of the board and batten, accent wall with some shiplap. The wood floors are really beautiful. Here's that private ensuite bathroom. Got the frameless shower. Tiled all the way up to the ceiling. Kitchen's beautiful. Got the two tones with the cabinets. Island. Look at how big that oversized island is. You might hear some noise in the background, people talking. I am in a model where people are working, so keep that in mind. Got the stacked ovens right there. Backsplash, lighted cabinetry. Look how nice and open this plan is. So there's no fireplace. They have a nice accent wall, perfect spot to pop the TV on there. Lots of windows floor to ceiling. Let's right, step outside here real quick. Look at this covered back deck, or patio rather. 
Super neat. So all of those windows open, sliding doors, you can see. You've got the tiled floor. Now the model home went ahead and put turf down in addition to some real grass over there. See how that uh, Bermuda in Georgia just goes to sleep in the winter, becomes like this gold color. And in, spring times, in the spring, it comes back to life. So this is definitely an option that they've got. There's covered space. The wrapped beams. It looks really good. Little workstation here. Sure, that could be a number of things depending on how you want it. You have a little prep kitchen in the back over here, pantry open. And then there's an extra door to the outside on that side with a little mudroom. Coat closet there. That would be the garage. Wanted to show you the space underneath the stairs. Kind of cool the way they have it. Right in here. It's a neat use of the space. Extra closet for storage. But the way they have it, it's kind of cool little game room. Close the door. <laughs> have whatever esports your kids are playing in a confined space, confined noise maybe. Look at the molding going all the way up the stairs. Got the wrought iron railings that look really good. Come upstairs, we've got a little loft area. So we've got this set up as a flex space, currently set up as a movie room. Here's one of the secondary bedrooms. Reach in closet there. And it's got its private bathroom as well. This one has a tub shower combination. Again, you have the tile all the way up to the ceiling. I've got tall ceilings up here as well. If you enjoy these property tours, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing, and hit that bell notification button so you never miss another one. Got a nice little linen closet here, or if you're gonna use this space as a flex space, it could be a closet for games, whatever you might desire. Take a look at one of the other bedrooms. So this one's a little bit smaller. Doesn't have its own private bathroom. Reach in closet. These other uh, bedrooms up here are gonna share this hallway bathroom. does have dual vanities there, as you can see. Got the panty tile all the way up against the ceiling, nice little touch. Got your laundry room right here. It's nice to have laundry on the same level as the majority of the bedrooms. And here, this is their design room. They show you kind of what goes into the houses that they build, the different kind of insulation and what it is usually, which is minimum standard. You build houses, 
the subs just leave stuff there, right? Empty bottles, cans, etc. David Weekly, known for quality, they do a much cleaner job. I've sold a couple of David Weekly homes. Clients have always loved them. This is the last of the secondary bedrooms. We're gonna go and take a look at the primary suite next. Yeah, so it's been my experience and my client's experience that they really do put an emphasis on quality. No builder's perfect, things pop up during construction, sometimes shortly after closing in every single instance and there have only been, actually only one. They made things right very, very quickly with a leak that happened after closing. They were there within a day uh, to fix everything. Now it was a relatively minor leak. It's not something that was gushing out water by any means. So the time frame was acceptable and no issues since. Look at this vaulted ceiling. Got the primary bathroom. It's a really good size countertop there and lots of cabinet space. And take a look at this walk-in shower. Got the frameless glass. Everything's nice and tiled. Got the rainwater fixture on the ceiling there. Bench at the back. And all of this opens up into the closet, which comes with storage, at least in the model. We'll take a look and see what they do with their spec. Good, good amount of space. And then in the corner there, we've got a linen closet and water closet to the right. Some nice big windows. All right, let's go take a look at the two spec homes. This is lot 159, but we're gonna start off with this one over here, which is lot 142. So let's start and see how these two properties look. Now 142 is a cob zone, just like the model was. It's a different elevation on the front, but the floor plan should be similar. So we're gonna just quickly pop in, see what's different, and then go take a look at the other one. So this is all brick. You've got the step up here for the front porch. It's a little bit different than the other property. Okay. Now they're gonna show differently without all the furniture, of course, but you get an idea of what the standard features are here. So right off of the foyer, you've got French doors, which is a little bit different than what the model had, right? It was nice and open. Here, this really helps you enclose the office space. And no built-ins in this one. So that's something if you wanted to, you could add after the fact. So they still have a bedroom on the main level, which is always good. And it has its private bathroom. There we go. Frameless shower doors, it's tiled. It's not tiled all the way up to the ceiling, as I mentioned with the model, and I'm sure you guys already know, they put all the bells and whistles on them. So this is a little bit more what you'll see in terms of standard features. Here we've got a powder room for guests to use. The kitchen is still really nice and big. I mean, it's the same floor plan, so you'll see. Now the cabinets are all the same color, but they go all the way up to the ceiling. Got the pendant lights, got your breakfast area. And they still put built-ins against the wall that you'd have your TV. There's no fireplace. 
Let's take a look at the kitchen first and then we will step into the rest. You've got your breakfast area. Well, really not breakfast. I take that back. This is the dining room. This house does not have a separate dining room. So this right here is the dining room. And we're still looking at, these are Whirlpool. In the model home, they have a cafe series, which is GE cafe series. Uh, it's an upgraded appliance package. So the standard appliances that they put in are Whirlpool. You've got your towel backsplash, the pot filler. Still a really nice oversized island, quartz countertops. Engineered floors are really nice. And you've got your prep kitchen back here, along with a nice open style pantry. And a little work area, office area. You know, what would you use this for? So you've got all this extra cabinetry and countertop space. Would you use this as kind of like a homework area for kids? Uh, extra kitchen space for prepping food. Let me know in the comments below. This goes out to the garage. So we're not gonna step in there right now. And here you've got your mudroom. It's a second door that leads in and here's the other side of the garage. Two doors into the garage. Let's step out onto the back deck. If you notice, they also have the wall of windows with the sliding glass doors. I love these. Take a look at this. So in the warmer months, actually it's not that cold right now. Look how amazing this is. I'm gonna take a step back here. Look at how open that is. Isn't that great? So if you were to screen in the back deck here, you could open this up and have some really nice fresh air coming in. Speaking of big covered back decks, look at this. It's huge. So this lot in particular, not the biggest backyard. Not everybody needs or wants a big backyard to maintain. So the nice thing about this is you actually have three levels of outdoor decks and patios. I'll show you that. Now it's nice too, because in the back here, as you can see, nothing's gonna ever be built there. So behind the house is pretty private in that ravine. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of a creek or something that might meander through the woods there but it looks really good. And then once everything's in bloom in the summer, you've got a mix of pine and some hardwood trees there. So you'll probably have some foliage to block uh, all of the neighbors back there. Uh, to what degree, I'm not 100% sure. At this time of the year, it's hard to tell. Let's go up. Looks like the railings are standard. Okay, little loft area. We had that in the other property. Little flex space. And then we've got the bedrooms. This is one of the bedrooms that has a bathroom. So similar to the layout downstairs. That's a double linen closet. And we've got two more bedrooms here. Now these share a hall bathroom. It's almost like I've seen this floor plan before. Oh, so have you, it's just flipped. So you've got the dual vanities, towel floor. This is a tub shower combo. And then you've got the laundry room right beside. So you're not going up and down on clothes. All the bedrooms, most of them are upstairs. You've got the one in the main, of course. And then here is the extra bedroom that in the model they were using as a showcase room. Let's go take a look at the primary suite. It's 
So we'll have the nice vaulted ceiling. It really makes this space feel really big. It's gonna have a cool view in the back. So you can really see over the houses. And I guess, yeah, you, you have, you've got somewhat of a nice view here. It's gonna be nice and private. No one can see into your uh, primary suite here. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Slightly different design. I actually prefer this design. So in the model home, they have the giant shower. I think having a tub like that, a standalone tub is a nice touch and it's still a good size shower. And then we still have lots of countertop space. I tell you, I really like what David Weekly does. I think they do a fantastic job. And here is the closet. So they do put wire shelving in. It's very usable the way that it is. If you wanted something a little bit more custom, you saw how the model was decorated. All right, let's go take a look at the plan across the street. All right, let me show you guys the Kilpatrick. Now it's a different floor plan. And we're starting with a three car garage. Lots of brick on this house. Got some accent hardy board siding. Now, both of these homes are five bedroom, four and a half bath houses. They're both a little bit over 3,500 square feet. So look at this front porch, covered front porch. And it opens up to the living room. I think that's the living room. Let's not guess, let's step inside and take a look. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was wrong. That opens up to the dining room. Okay, different plan. This is really nice. So you've got the dining room here. Lots of extra cabinetry. Big fan of the two-tone with the darker cabinets on the island, offsetting the cabinets on the wall behind. This one does have a fireplace. I think the colors go really well with the lighter floors as well. And this house comes with KitchenAid. So these are KitchenAid appliances through and through. We've got the ovens here. So there's a room right off of the entrance that would make a perfect office. Got the French doors, no closet, definitely an office. Let's go take a look out back real quick. So they're still building, as I've mentioned, but you can see we're gonna have quite a bit of space behind this house you're gonna be building up on the ledge over there. So just like we saw with the other house, it's gonna come down. You have more of a backyard with this property. It is sloping though, sloping sideways. It's a really nice covered back deck. You have the same style of sliding class doors. Those have become quite popular. Let's see what else is on the main level before we go up. mudroom over here. So you've got some cabinets, countertop space, you've got a coat closet right there. And on this side, you've got the garage. So it's a bigger garage, door to the outside. See how tall the ceilings are in here, it's massive. And then you've got all of this space too. It's not lit up currently. It's not a light switch too, too close, but suffice to say that these are big garages. Tankless water heater over there. 
And then here, you've got a bedroom, a smaller walk-in closet. So if you needed a bedroom on the main level, this would be it. And it has a full bathroom available to it right here off the hallway. We've got the shower framed door. Let's take a look at the upstairs next. All right, so when you come upstairs, you've got a loft or a flex space. It's a good size. Got a bedroom over here. Bathroom. We're gonna finish with the primary suite. So let's take a look at the two other secondary bedrooms. Nice tall ceilings. Jack and Jill bathroom over here. Share this tub and shower. And here is the fifth bedroom. Let's go take a look at the primary suite. On the way there, we've got laundry. Good size, You're not super cramped in this room. And here's the primary suite. Tray ceiling. So on this side, you got your first closet. If you've noticed, everything up here has the really nice engineered wood floors with the exception of the secondary bedrooms. And here is the primary bathroom. Dual vanities. The shower is similar to the one that's in the model. So it's a bigger walk-in shower. We've got the rainfall feature, fixture. Everything's nice and tiled and then opens up right here to the primary closet. With the wireframe shelving, it's ready to go. If you wanted something custom, of course you could add that later. All right, so we saw not one, but two different plans, three different houses. We saw the cobstone plan for the first two properties. And then this one's the Kilpatrick. Let me know in the comments below which plan you think is better. And if you'd like more information about any of these properties, the builder, the local area, you're thinking of buying or selling, don't hesitate to reach out because I can't help you unless you contact me. So all of my contact information is in the description below. If you wanna watch more videos that are new construction, I've got a great playlist, click up here. Never wanna miss another one. If you haven't already done so, I'd consider subscribing, click down here. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Today we're gonna be doing the...